Time, one of the most fundamental concepts in our understanding of the universe, is also one of the most mysterious. We experience time as a constant flow from past to present to future. But when you look at time from the perspective of physics, things start to get complicated and even terrifying. There's a paradox that has confounded scientists for centuries, the arrow of time. It's a paradox that challenges not only our everyday understanding of reality, but also the very structure of the universe itself. While time is a constant, unyielding part of our experience, its nature may not be as straightforward as it seems. This paradox has been the subject of debate for some of the greatest minds in science, from Isaac Newton to Albert Einstein to Stephen Hawking. Time may seem simple, but as scientists dig deeper into the laws of physics, they encounter a problem that threatens to unravel everything we think we know about how the universe works. The arrow of time, past, present, future. At first glance, time seems like a linear progression. We wake up in the morning, go about our daily lives, and eventually fall asleep, only to repeat the cycle again. In our personal experience, time flows in one direction, from the past into the present and on into the future. But when scientists look at the laws of physics, particularly the laws of motion and thermodynamics, they see something deeply troubling. The arrow of time doesn't behave the same way in all contexts. The arrow of time refers to the direction in which time flows and events unfold. In our daily lives, we have no trouble distinguishing between the past and the future. An object falling to the ground is a clear indication that time is moving forward. Yet, in the microscopic world governed by quantum mechanics, there's no fundamental reason why time should have a specific direction. The laws that govern particles on the quantum level, such as the behavior of atoms or electrons, are time symmetric, meaning that they work the same way whether time is moving forward or backward. This presents an intriguing and terrifying paradox. If the laws of physics don't inherently distinguish between past and future, then why does time appear to move in only one direction in our macroscopic world? Why is it that we can't reverse time? Even though the fundamental laws governing particles allow for it, this paradox remains one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in modern physics. Entropy and the second law of thermodynamics. One of the most important clues to understanding the arrow of time lies in the second law of thermodynamics. This law states that the total entropy, or disorder, of an isolated system always increases over time. In simple terms, things tend to move from a state of order to a state of chaos. A glass of water left to sit will eventually reach equilibrium, with the molecules of water dispersed evenly throughout. A deck of cards shuffled and left on a table will not spontaneously organize itself into a neat order without some external intervention. This increase in entropy provides a clear direction for time. Imagine two rooms connected by a door, one with clean, organized books, and the other in complete disarray. If you open the door, the books will spread out, and the room will get messier over time. You will never see the room spontaneously clean itself up. This is a reflection of the second law of thermodynamics. The natural state of systems is to move towards higher entropy. However, while the second law explains why the arrow of time points in one direction, it doesn't fully resolve the paradox. In the realm of quantum mechanics, particles behave in ways that suggest time should be reversible, which means that the increase in entropy should not be the only determining factor in how time moves. The question arises, why does the universe seem to obey the second law of thermodynamics on large scales? But on a quantum level, it doesn't seem to have the same restrictions, the Big Bang and the beginning of time. Another aspect of the time paradox revolves around the beginning of time itself. According to the widely accepted Big Bang theory, the universe began approximately 13.8 billion years ago from an infinitely dense and hot point. This marked the birth of space, time, and all matter in the universe. But before the Big Bang, there was no before at all, at least not in any meaningful sense that we can comprehend. Time as we understand it, did not exist. This creates a deep problem for physicists. How did time begin, and what happened before the Big Bang? Since time itself is thought to have originated from this event, it's impossible to even frame the concept of before in the context of the Big Bang. The question of what existed before time started is not just a philosophical one. It's a problem that challenges the very nature of reality. In some sense, 
time itself may have come into existence as the universe expanded and evolved. This paradox leads to other troubling questions. If time had a beginning, does that imply that it could have an end? Is time a one-way journey, or could it loop back on itself in some way that we haven't yet understood? These questions are still unanswered and remain a central issue in cosmology and theoretical physics, time, and the theory of relativity. Einstein's theory of relativity brought a profound shift to our understanding of time, introducing concepts that further complicate the paradox. According to Einstein, time is not an absolute, unchanging entity, but is intertwined with space to form a four-dimensional structure known as space-time. In relativity, time is relative to the observer and can be affected by factors such as gravity and the speed at which an object is moving. For instance, if you were traveling close to the speed of light, time would appear to slow down relative to an observer who is stationary. This phenomenon, known as time dilation, has been confirmed experimentally and is now a well-established principle of physics. Time, it turns out, is not constant, but can be stretched or compressed depending on the circumstances. This introduces yet another layer of complexity to the paradox. If time can be distorted in such dramatic ways, is there any true, universal direction to time? And if time is so malleable, does the concept of an arrow of time even make sense in the context of relativity? These questions continue to intrigue scientists and challenge our basic understanding of the nature of time. The quantum conundrum, can time be reversed? Quantum mechanics, the branch of physics that governs the behavior of the smallest particles in the universe, adds yet another twist to the paradox of time. On the quantum level, particles can exist in multiple states at once, and events can occur without a clear cause and effect relationship. These strange behaviors seem to defy the conventional flow of time. In fact, some interpretations of quantum mechanics, such as the many worlds hypothesis, suggests that all possible outcomes of a quantum event occur simultaneously, leading to parallel universes that each experience different timelines. In this view, time may not be as linear as we think, and the idea of a single, unchanging arrow of time might be an illusion. But the question remains, can time truly be reversed on a macroscopic scale? If the fundamental laws of physics allow for time reversal at the quantum level, why don't we see evidence of this in the larger, classical world? The possibility of time reversal raises unsettling questions about the nature of causality and the fabric of reality itself. The paradox of time and our place in the universe. The paradox of time is not just an academic problem. It forces us to confront our place in the universe. If time has no true direction, if it is fundamentally reversible or malleable, then how do we understand our own lives within this framework? Time is an essential part of the human experience, and yet, it is also one of the most mysterious and perplexing phenomena in the universe. The realization that time is far more complex and possibly more dangerous than we think is a humbling reminder of how much we still have to learn about the universe. The paradox of time, with its implications for the laws of physics, the nature of reality, and even our own existence, is a mystery that may never be fully solved. But in grappling with this paradox, we continue to push the boundaries of human knowledge and explore the deepest questions about the cosmos. If you found this deep dive into the paradox of time thought-provoking, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. There's more to uncover about the universe's most terrifying mysteries, and we're just scratching the surface.